All right, hello everybody. Uh, today we're gonna talk about how to write uh, notation in bass clef. Okay, so we did our treble clef yesterday, so it's not gonna be too different. We should still be comfortable with this, uh, but now we're just going to switch it to a different clef. Uh, so most of you probably know that bass clef is used for lower voiced instruments. Uh, some examples would be like the tuba, bassoon, euphonium, etc. Okay, so let's start off with how to draw a bass clef. So first thing we want to do is we want to find the second line from the top, and that's going to be this line right there, okay? So go ahead and just draw an X on that line for me, okay? All right, cool. Now what we're going to do is we are going to draw a dot on that very line, okay? Great, awesome. Okay, and from that dot, we are going to loop up around and back down to the very bottom line. I've heard it said this kind of looks like a half a heart. Uh, you can call it whatever you like, but that's how we draw it. Okay, so go ahead and pause your video and try that just a couple times on your own, okay? All right, good. Now what we have to add, just one more thing here, is we're gonna put two dots on either side of that line. Now it's very important that this is exactly where those dots go, okay, because this line here is very important to this clef, and I'll tell you why in just a second here. But after you draw your half a heart, make sure you draw your two dots on either side, okay? Now this dot here is not always necessary, so you can choose to forget about it if you'd like, but the important part is that the shape starts on the second line from the top here, okay? So I'm going to draw one, what it would look like if we didn't have that dot here. Okay, so we're gonna go loop around, and then we draw our two dots on either side of this line here, okay? So again, this line is very important to this clef. We start on it, and then we draw two dots on either side, okay? If you need to pause the video to try it a couple times, feel free to do that, uh, but we're gonna keep moving here. Okay, so like I said, this line is very important. That's because this clef circles around the note F, okay? So this second line from the top here is an F. Okay, go ahead and write that in on your staff paper, please. We have our F here. So the clef starts on the F line and then the two dots center around the F line. So yesterday we talked about uh, the treble clef being also known as the G clef because it circles around that line G. Well, we are also going to call this clef the F clef. Okay, so we have bass clef, or we have the F clef, because that note F is kind of where the clef circles around there, okay? Okay, all right, hope you're following along so far. Um, let's talk about where notes are placed. So obviously this line here is F, we know that. Okay, let's see if we can find some other lines. Now, I want you to take a second, pause the video if you need to, I'll leave some space, take a second to see if you can figure out what the space just below F is, okay? So that'll be this space right here, I'll put a line on it so you can see. Actually, you know what, even better, I'll draw a note head. Try to see if you can figure out what note that is right there. Step below F. All right, hopefully you came up with the note E, okay? That's gonna be our E. And then let's see if we can find the note just above F here. We're stepping up from F. All right, hopefully you came up with G. Okay, cool. So from here, we're actually going to talk about the spaces. I know we started on a line, um, but that's just because, you know, like I said, that's our F clef. So we're gonna talk about the spaces from here. So we have our E and we have our G, okay? And I'm actually gonna move, uh, I'm gonna switch these guys around here just so it makes a little bit more sense for us. I'll put the G here and the E there. So we have our G. We have our E, and then we're gonna move to this next space here, okay? Take a second, see if you can figure out what that one is. And hopefully you came up with the note C. And then last but not least, we have this very bottom space here, see if you can figure that one out. Remember, we can do the same thing here like we did with treble clef, because everything moves by step, okay? So you can count down, you can count the line in between, and hopefully you come up with A. Now, if, if you're totally lost in this, you're not quite sure what I'm doing, I wanna show you how I, I came to this response. 
Okay, so we know our musical alphabet is A through G, right? So if we're starting on F and we wanna move forward through the alphabet, right? We're gonna find what letter comes after F in our musical alphabet, okay? So we're going up, we're moving forward through the alphabet, that brings us to the letter G, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, okay? And now to go down, we have to go the opposite. So we have to go backwards through the alphabet, right? So now we have A, B, C, D, E, F, okay? So that's, oops, that's where our E comes from here, okay? Uh, if this is confusing to you, please feel free to ask me questions, ask your peers questions. I'm all for you guys helping each other. Okay, so let's keep going here. We have E and G on either side of this F. So to find this C here, we should probably figure out what this line is here if we're going to count through our alphabet, right? So again, we have to move backwards. So what comes before E, A, B, C, D, okay? So that makes this line here D, and we'll write that in in just a few minutes. And we go just before D, A, B, C, D, great? So that's where our C comes in, okay? And then you can repeat the same process for finding A here. That's one way to figure it out if you want to move by step. I think this is kind of nice here to memorize this. We have the word ace spelled, and then we have a G. So I think ace G, that's kind of how I remember that one. If you want to come up with a different mnemonic for yourself, that's totally fine, or an acronym. Each letter can stand for something, um, but I'm gonna leave that up to you guys to decide for yourselves, find something that works for you. Okay, so now we've talked about our spaces, let's talk about our lines, okay? So obviously we started here, right? This is the F clef, so we're gonna start with F. Let's move up before we go down. We'll fill in the rest of the spaces after we go up. Okay, so let's repeat the same process. And this right here was gonna help us out a little bit. So if we're going up, we're going forward through the alphabet. We know this space here is G, right? And we have it written right there. All right, so when we get to G, we have to go back to the beginning of the alphabet. All right, so we are going to go back to the beginning, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We repeat back to A as we step up here, okay? All right, so there's our very top space and our second to top space. Now we wanna figure out this middle space right here. So again, let's go through our alphabet, A, B, C, D, E. That would give us this space right here, right? And we have that written in already. And then before E comes, D. All right. Next one, we're going to skip this space, which we see as C here. You can find that with your alphabet method. And we go to the second line here and we get B. Okay. And last but not least, we step down again. We have A. We get to our very bottom line. We skip A and we are at G. Okay. All right, a good mnemonic device for this one, or I guess rather an acronym, is good boys deserve fudge always. That's the one I always uh, was taught, and it's, it's kind of catchy. Um, so if that one helps you, please feel free to use it. If there's something else you would like to use, absolutely go ahead for that one. Okay, so now we have our base clef diagrammed here. I want you guys to, first of all, at the end of the video, I want you to draw a couple base clefts. So let's just say, let's go with three. I want you to draw three base clefts. And for now, I'm just going to draw one, but your assignment as you're following along with the video is to draw three base clefts. All right, here's your next assignment. I'm going to draw a line, or sorry, a line. I'm going to draw a note head. I'll draw three different note heads here. And I would like you to identify the note under the staff, okay? So we'll go here, here, and here, okay? So what you're going to do down here in this space is just write the letter name of whatever note you believe that is, okay? All right, and then once you're finished with that, that was a poor bass clef, see? It didn't quite touch the top line. We always want it to touch the top line, so I'm going to fix that, make an example of myself there. Start on the F line, loop up, come back down. There we go, that's better. Okay, and now we're going to do the opposite. I'm going to give you three note names and you're going to try to find those on the staff. So we'll start with our F. Let's do G. And we'll do the upper G since you know there are two. And then let's do F. Oh wait, we already did F, whoops. Let's do D, okay? 
All right. So I will make a uh, space for you guys to submit this. You can submit it uh, through Blackboard and to let me know if you have any questions. But that is our intro to 